Hey there Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for the week of November 18th through the 24th of 2020. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is a timeless reading. Yeah, even though it's dated for this week, it's still pretty timeless. So again, I <clears throat> recommend that you guys pay more attention to the title than the date. However, you can watch weekly if you like. Uh, also, this is more geared towards your rising sign. Yes, so in this case, it would be Aries rising. But of course, you can watch it for any placement that you have. Okie dokie. All right, let's just get into it here and see what we've got for your week. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the week of November 18th through the 24th of 2020. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Aries. Let's get into this here and let's see what we've got for your week, yeah? Five shuffles. One. Two. For my Aries here. Three. Four. And five. All right, Aries, let's see what we've got for your week here. So for the 18th through the 24th, what's going on for you, Aries? What's going on for my Aries here? Okay. We have man holding a coin and angel of strength. Uh, okay, let's keep going here. Let's get the rest of the cards. Um, let's give this five shuffles. We'll see what's crowning you this week. One. Two. Uh-huh. Three. Four. And five. All right, Aries, what's crowning you this week? For my Aries here. Stillness. Interesting. Okay. So, um, so far, Aries, what I want to say is um, I, I feel like this is a masculine. And I kind of feel like this may not necessarily be you. I feel like this is someone external to you. Like, I know maybe, maybe this could like be your inner masculine energy. Okay. But I feel like this is an individual that is of <clears throat> naturally of the masculine orientation. And um, I, I kind of want to say is getting his act together, his or her act together. I mean, it could be a woman that's more of a, of a, um, a masculine orientation energetically. Uh, I just feel like this is not... I, I feel like this is someone external to you, Aries. So this could be someone that you have a connection with. Maybe you're divine masculine, a divine counterpart, or maybe just someone that you're dating or you've been seeing, maybe have some sort of kind of uh, situationship with. Um, and... I'm hearing and feeling that you're watching them get their act together. And I feel like this is more you right here, Aries. Stillness. Okay. Being very patient. All right. Uh, I'm going to give this four shuffles. Let's see what's grounding you this week or what's your driving force this week. That's one. This is two. Three. And four for you, Aries. So what have you got going on? What's what's grounding you this week? What's your driving force here? Oh, fulfillment. Okay, there is. A, okay, so check it out, Aries. I feel like there is a, definitely a sense of fulfillment that you are picking up on right now. You're watching this happen. And I feel like there's someone around you 
that is of the masculine orientation. This is someone you're either dating or you've been talking to, maybe a friend of yours, a love interest or something. I do feel like there's a mutual interest between the two of you. And I feel like you're watching this individual get their act together or like pull up in some way. OK, um, and I do, and even though Aries, you know, Aries is fiery energy. I'm an Aries sun. All right. So I get it. I totally get it. And Aries is cardinal. Ooh, Aries is very action oriented. OK, um, but in this case, Aries, I feel like you have learned some pretty valuable lessons here in terms of not rushing situations and also in terms of allowing things to unfold as they are cement to. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Uh, and so you're just kind of like watching and waiting, okay? Either this is you, Aries, or maybe this is the cross watcher or whatever, all right? But um, I do feel like it's mostly you, Aries. You have the Page of Swords here with the Moon and the Six of Wands. Page of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here. Um, so what this is kind of saying is like you're watching and waiting and allowing things to unfold because everything is not as it seems currently. <clears throat> I kind of feel like this is a situation in which um, some of you in the past may have looked at this and be like, ah, this motherfucker ain't doing shit, blah, 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 like I should just leave, blah, 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 like I ain't gonna give no time to this bullshit, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. But now you're much wiser. Now you understand with the moon energy here that things are not quite as they seem. Also, I feel with the moon energy, things are shifting, things are changing, and you're and, and there's a victory coming through for you, Aries, six of wands, okay? There could be an offer of a relationship soon, whether it's this other person or you offers something with that page of cups that was at the bottom of the deck. Um, you have the empress here. Yeah, just sitting back on her throne and watching things happen. Ooh, five of swords, though, with the magician and temperance. Four of Wands. Oh, shoot. A bunch of cards are reversed in the deck. Huh, look at that. Okay. Anyway. Um, okay, but here's the other thing that's coming through right now, Aries, for you. You have the Empress here. And you have that with the Five of Wands and... I'm sorry, not the Five of Wands. The Five of Swords and Strength, but the, but the Magician as well. So... Um, Ooh, thunder. Uh, Aries, I feel like you've recently walked away from some really karmic or to toxic or nasty relationships in the past or just nasty, terrible, awful circumstances, okay? With this Empress energy here, I do feel like you're connected to the abundance of the universe. That's helping you remain quite still in this situation, whereas in the past you wouldn't have been. Um, but this is also you being connected to your own divine feminine nature and just allowing, being in that receptive energy, allowing things to come forward for you. Strength to the magician. You're having the strength to really hold back and allow the manifestation to happen in the time frame that it's going to happen. Like whenever it happens, it happens. I don't feel like you're rushing things any longer. Whereas in the past, you would have been really aggressive about it or really pushed really hard about it. And now you're just like, no, I'm, I'm not doing that any longer. I see the value in taking the time to allow things to develop. Four of Wands and the Sun is at the bottom of the deck here. Four of Wands talking about your um, your foundation, okay? I do feel like you have, this could, I, I do feel like this is a friend for a lot of you. This is somebody that you have a really good solid foundation with, um, someone that you can trust, someone that you've known for a little bit, someone that you've been able to get to know and you know, you have a good solid foundation with each other and it's only, it, it can only get better from here. It can only develop and blossom and grow, and grow from here. The, excuse me, the hermit, um, you've done a lot of soul searching, you're kind of keeping to yourself, um, but also you're remaining an individual. You're not trying to rush into anything. I really feel like you're not trying to rush into anything, Aries, and this is really good. Um, you're, you're allowing your own light to shine, and again, whatever happens, happens. Three of Swords, Five of Cups, but then the Star. Yep, and the Three of Cups underneath that uh, at the bottom of the deck. So you've definitely done a lot of healing from the past. Um, you've finally gotten over a sense of heartbreak or a sense of um, guilt, shame, regret, or remorse. Um, and you've done a lot of healing from that. And you're following the star here. You're following your intuition. You're following your higher, higher guidance, the universe. You're following the signs from the universe to move away from the past heartbreak and to get it, what it is you truly want out of life. 
and out of a relationship. This does feel like a relationship energy for you, Aries, okay? All right, I'm going to leave it there, and we're going to go a little bit deeper um, into the tarot here. So we're going to look at uh, potential storylines for the week or just deeper messages for the week, but we are going to take that over to Patreon. Yes, uh, if you'd like to follow me on Patreon, you can absolutely do so. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Link can be found in the description box below. But before we go, I do want to get a closing message for YouTube here. We're using the Indigo Angels Oracle deck and just a closing message for your reading for this week. Yeah, uh, three shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right, Aries. So a closing message for you for this week here. Yep, that's right. You have patience. But I really don't feel like you need anybody to tell you about that because I feel like, Aries, you are so very strong in your patient patience right now that this is really... It really doesn't, make, it really doesn't surprise me that that would come out there. Uh, and I, I kind of... I, I don't even want to say that you need to have patience because I feel like you are the patient one here. You really are, truly. Like, you've really learned a valuable lesson in patience and that's helping you align with a partner that's really going to be of great benefit to you or uh, of great fulfillment to you. I mean, I, I mean, fulfillment is your driving force in this situation, okay? This is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I am going to move over to Patreon. We're gonna get go deeper with Tarot here. But with that said, if, you, if you're not following over on Patreon, I love you guys so very much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic week. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading next week. Yeah. Take care. Bye.